hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you guys are new here if you guys are new make sure to hit the subscribe button i was looking at my analytics on my last video and 80 percent of the people that watched the video were not subscribed so I'm, I'm not understanding are you guys not wanting to subscribe like what's going on i don't know but definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you so it is currently 10 44 thursday march 2nd and y'all don't judge me <laughs> i know i still got my christmas tree up just don't judge me judge your mama we gonna act like we didn't see that okay so moving on this vlog should be an exciting vlog i am off the next two days we got a lot going on later on today i am going to cocktails live show in nashville so if you guys don't know what cocktails is it's a podcast and it's two ladies they talk about like dating and stuff like that so me and babe are going i'm really super excited i've been watching their podcast for like two years now and i actually got the vip package so we get a, to do a little meet and greet so that should be really cool like i'm really excited for that i also plan on redecorating my bathroom so i ordered a bunch of stuff from amazon i am gonna go to tj maxx today see if i see anything else because my bathroom is just not it's not giving what it's supposed to give like it's just it's not so i'm trying to make it more aesthetically pleasing so that's the plan i am about to go to target and film like a target hygiene shopping type of video i'll see y'all in target hey y'all so i finally ordered me a car mount for my car so about to open that for y'all not that y'all even care but oh it is this x show camera mount it was like 13 dollars on amazon y'all know i love me some amazon which i'm sure everybody loves amazon but y'all i got some good news so I woke up this morning and your girl is back in the 120 so I'm super excited about that I have been doing intermittent fasting I've only been eating from 12 to 5 intermittent fasting and one meal a day method is for me personally for me personally has worked the best for me to lose weight like I've lost the most weight doing that I just love food too much I try to I've been trying to also eat a little bit more healthier but i love food so much and with the intermittent fasting you can eat whatever you want in that time span and i feel like not eating close to bedtime really 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 helps my goal actually is like 124 so i am 411 y'all so i lose and gain weight so easily because i'm so short <laughs> so 124 is like the ideal weight I still have my curves and it just looks the best for me and i have not been 124 probably since before nursing school for being honest my under in undergrad i was around 124 123 and i have not been like in the 120s probably since i i think the last time i was in the 120s was for our honeymoon <laughs> which was like a year ago so it's been like a year since i've been in the 120 so i'm i'm hype y'all i'm really happy about that and I, my goal is to lose like five more pounds in the next two weeks i know it's a stretch it sounds like a stretch but i'm going to vegas in two weeks i have exactly two weeks until vegas so i think i could lose five pounds in two weeks what y'all think y'all think i could do it even if i make it to like 128 126 that's good like 128 i still look good at 128 i am probably gonna have to break my fast today because i want to eat at the show so yeah i'm probably i'm gonna eat at the show and i'm gonna drink so so i have to return that car mount because it's not sticking so gonna return that to amazon we got and we're gonna order another one I actually have two things that I need to return to Amazon. Probably will do that tomorrow. But like I said, I am on the way to a Target. And I was just talking about my weight loss. But 
Y'all, I'm craving Zaxby's so bad. Like, I really want Zaxby's. <laughs> I just left Target. I filmed my Target hygiene shopping video. And I'm laughing in my car right here. It would be nice if I had my key. So y'all, stay tuned for my Target. My Target hygiene video will probably be out before this video. So make sure to check that out. But it was really kind of awkward filming in there it wasn't too awkward but it was a little bit i'm getting a little bit more comfortable with with filming in public because y'all it's 2023 like people blog tiktok like this is the new thing so my target stuff i got from target will be in a separate video now we are going to tj maxx hey right, y'all i'm in tj maxx and i'm looking for like some storage things for my bathroom. Preferably I want something for like the everyday stuff that I use for my face. I have it like on the bottom part of my bathroom counter, but I want something that I could sit on top so I don't have to keep moving it from the bottom to the top to the bottom to the top every day. So I need something that I can keep on top of the bathroom sink that looks neat. So that's what I'm looking for. And also I could use like some drawer or under the sink organizers because it's like, well, it's not actually not that bad, but my drawer, I do need a drawer organizer. But it's like, how do I know that it fits? They have this one, but I don't know, like how do I don't know it's going to fit? Should I get it? Oh, I don't know. I always return it if it don't fit right. That one would be cute, but I feel like it's way too big. Like if it was a little bit smaller, I feel like it would be perfect, but my bathroom is already not that big. Oh, I think I found one. It looks like I think I'm gonna go with this one. Hey y'all, so we are back home and my Zaxby's curving came back. But I didn't get any, so now I'm about to make some tuna fish. Quick, easy, light meal. And then I am going to start with my bathroom and then get ready for the night. So that's what we got going on. I'm about to play a YouTube video or something while I make this tuna fish. Tuna is made and let me know if you guys put celery in your tuna. I put celery and jalapenos. Jalapenos might be a little weird, but I know that some of the recipes say put celery. So I use celery as well. And then I got my crackers, which I already ate some. But I like these mini crackers, like the mini bags. I would literally eat like so many crackers. But these, it helps you just not eat as much. Running back to the strip club. I'm never going back, never going back. No, you can't make me. Never going back, never going back. They never take me. I've been enough of petty dudes. I've been enough of shitty news. I had a thing for dirty shoes since I was 10. Love dirty men are like, ooh, bad today than cash today. Ooh, I just take it day by day. Nothing but love. 
you know also just got out the shower and i'm getting ready for the night i want to hop on here and talk to y'all and also do my makeup so i'm really trying to see how quick i can get ready it is 6 14 it's 6 14 and the show starts at 8 and it's 45 minutes away so i got about maybe 20 minutes to finish my makeup so I really could go like this. I look cute bare face, but I'm gonna do a little one two. I did have my makeup done earlier because I was filming earlier. I took my makeup off and now I'm redoing it. I really don't even wear makeup like that, but I'm working on getting better with my makeup. And part of that is I need to, I need to buy some more makeup. I have like a list of things that I want to buy so hopefully before my trip to Vegas I have time to go to Sephora because y'all know the Sephora out here don't be having nothing so I have to go to the Sephora near Nashville which I don't mind because it is by my job so I could just go when I get off one day because I really want to get this makeup before Vegas but I was going to do a chit chat get ready with me, but I didn't have time. <laughs> and I've been doing a lot today. Like I recorded uh, the Target video. I've been vlogging today. Like I don't want to just overwhelm myself. And I really was trying to do the get, chit chat get ready with me. But realistically, it was just not happening. So let me look. It's 6.18. So I'm going to try to get ready by 6.30. Y'all think I could do it? Let me look on my list of things that I was going to talk to you guys about. Okay, this is a good topic. So, one of the topics that I was going to... So, since I can't do it, the chit chat, get ready with me. I'm going to just talk about um, a few of the topics that I did have written down while I'm doing my makeup. So, one of the topics I did write down was about finding your purpose. And this year very recently specifically i have really been well i've been feeling like this last year too but this year i'm really like doing things to find my purpose and what i mean by that is like what i'm put on this earth to do and of course it's of course i i'm in debt from my nursing degree so obviously like i know nursing is part of my purpose but more specifically i'm trying to figure out like what exactly in nursing do i want to do because i don't see myself doing labor and delivery forever and i feel like i've told y'all that before like i never like would have thought that I would have wanted to do labor and delivery and I worked on each of the floors in our hospital for two weeks and L&D was my favorite. I always thought I wanted to do ER but the ER at my hospital it just it didn't give me good vibes. They weren't that nice to me and I just was like I couldn't work on this floor. So I chose L&D which I uh, don't get me wrong I love my job I love my co-workers I don't mind being at work I don't hate waking up and going to work every day but I just don't know like I don't know like some people know that labor and delivery is their purpose it's their passion and they would never do anything else. But me, I don't have that feeling. Like, there's still, I still wanna try new things. I still wanna try different specialties. I still wanna explore the nursing field even more. And definitely try some other specialties. And I just don't know, like, I don't know where to start. Because y'all know, if y'all have been watching my videos, then y'all know, like, I had a really rough first year as a nurse. Like, it was very depressing, to say the least. It was very depressing. And 
I don't want to go through that again, learning a whole new specialty. And I feel like LED is very, like, it's only certain medications you need, to need, you need to know, certain procedures you need to know. And I pretty much got it down pat. Like, of course, there's still things that I haven't done in LED because I do work at a small hospital. And there are some medications that we don't use at my hospital that I am not familiar with. But for the most part, like, I know pretty much the basics and the gist of L&D. Like, I would be okay if I was to ever transfer to another hospital, a busier hospital. I feel like I would adjust really well with the skills that I do have. However, with changing specialties, it's literally, I literally feel like I would be a new grad all over again. And the fact that my first year was so traumatic. I'm so, tra I'm so dramatic, y'all. But it was tra traumatic, so... I'm scared. I'm really scared. And I know, like, I always hear people talk about, and it's true, that for you to get to where you want to be, you have to take the risk. It's going to be scary, but you have to take the risk. So I know I need to take the risk. But I don't even know where to start. Like, there's so much that I want to do, and I just don't know what my next move is going to be. Like, I'm... I don't know. So I've been working on that, like that's part of the reason why I'm fasting. I'm also fasting from other things as well, not just 12 to 5. And I've also been trying to implement 30 minutes a day in a sermon or reading the word. And I actually just ordered a new Bible because I'm not going to lie, like I don't read my Bible like I should. And I've been watching a lot of sermons about actually hearing God and trying to figure out what he wants for you. And everywhere is saying that you have to read the word. So I'm going to start reading my word and hopefully I figure out my purpose, what I'm supposed to do, what God's plan is for me. Because like when I tell y'all, I... I'm, I've been feeling a little bit lost on what I ne want my next move to be. And even if I stayed in L&D, I still feel like I need to experience a busier hospital. Because I always tell you guys that I work at a very, very slow... Some days are slow, but I work at a small hospital. So we only do like, I would say... 30 to 50 deliveries a month, which other hospitals, some do like 300 to 3,000 deliveries a day. So that ain't nothing. Like I have a lot of days where, you know, where we don't have any patients and we aren't doing anything, which I am grateful for because I have time to like do other things and um, read and you know, like, I try to use that free time being productive, like, I forgot what I was saying. I really forgot what I was saying, y'all. Okay, I remember now. So, even if I was to stay in labor and delivery, I still feel like I need to go to a busier hospital because with the skills at this hospital, I would not be able to do travel nursing in no time soon literally like i would be it would not be wise for me to do travel nursing anytime soon if i was to stay at this hospital because of the workload and i'm not used to a busy hospital and i and i do i do want that experience i do want to work somewhere busy i do want to work somewhere fast paced like i always have said like i don't mind working fast paced I don't mind working at a fast-paced job. Like, I've worked at fast-paced jobs all my life, literally. So, I don't mind, like, being busy for 12 hours on my feet morning. Like, that doesn't bother me. So, if I was to stay in LED, I feel like the best thing would be to go to a busier hospital, either PRN or, I don't know. But to get experience at a busier hospital, because eventually I want to be able to travel nurse. And then seeing all the people that I graduated with. Sorry, y'all. Seeing all the people I graduated with, a lot of them doing travel nursing already because, as y'all know, I have reached my one-year mark of being a nurse. 
and seeing the people that I graduated with doing travel nursing and knowing that with my skill set I wouldn't be able to do travel nursing it's like it kind of bums me out a little bit because I'm gonna be able to travel nurse too you know what I'm saying so yeah y'all I just I don't know like I said I've been praying fasting and just trying to figure out what God wants for me and what my next moves are like I have even thought about like I don't mind going back to school of course I want to get my nurse practitioner like I want to go back to school y'all know I love me school I have two bachelor's degrees I don't mind school but I can't get my nurse practitioner and not know what I want to freaking get my nurse practitioner in you know what I'm saying like I would just be getting it to just get it at this point you know what I'm saying so I have to figure out what exactly I want to do in nursing and then figure out is it beneficial to go back to school get my masters or what so y'all just pray for me because i am struggling with trying to figure out my plan my god's plan for me i truly am and i'm not gonna say like i am very i feel like i've done really good i'm successful in my job i feel like life is going really good for me like my bank account is growing i enjoy being at work i enjoy my co-workers like but i just you know i want more you know, i think i messed up my face <laughs> with this contour try to fix it though but i just want more more money more money and it's literally like side things that i want to do outside of nursing that i want to do is literally like five different things i'm thinking about doing and i can't do all of them you know <laughs> i can't do all of them and i know if i figure out which one I want to do I have to put my all into it and I, I can't put my all in five things at once if that makes sense so I don't know what I don't know what to do y'all but yeah that was my transparent moment to y'all if y'all have any advice on how you guys found your purpose your passion let me know Cause it was up to me i would be a youtuber like i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I, I, I would be a youtuber well i am a youtuber but i would if it was really up to me i would do youtube full-time and be a nurse part-time that is my ideal life okay my makeup starting to look good i don't know like it's this color like it I, I, I don't know yet if this color is for me. I feel like it is. Like it does match. I don't know. It's a little yellow. Yellowish undertone. And I have a more red undertone I believe. I don't know y'all. So it's 634. I'm almost done. I don't know what else I have to do. Blush. And... Then I think we're done. That was quick, y'all. Blush. Powder. My blush is missing. I can use this as blush. Ink velvet. Let's try it. Never used this as blush before, but I'm about to see. I'm going to see what happens. I, I have seen people use this as blush, though. Ooh, that's a little too pink. I'm not used to being this blush. I actually do need to get a cream contour as well because my contour is this one, this glow contour revolution glow. Actually, it's a bronzer. I don't know if bronze y'all is bronzer and y'all know i don't i'm not a makeup artist is bronzer and contour the same thing 
Now for my favorite part, the baking. But yeah, y'all, if y'all have any advice on like how you guys found your purpose, let me know. Some people, I know some people out here who haven't even found their purpose yet and they like 60 and they still have not found their purpose and I don't want to be someone that just works for 20 years at a job and that's not my passion like I'm not gonna live my life like that like I want to find my purpose what I'm passionate about Hopefully by the end of the year I have some answers. Y'all, my phone is, my iMessage is not working. And I updated my phone because I heard they was messing up people's phones if they didn't update their iPhone. I updated my phone and my iMessage is still not working. So I just turned it off. I'm about to turn it back on and then see what happens. And I usually use the Glossier powder, but this is literally out. This has been my favorite powder for like 10 years. But I do have a backup, which is the Laura Mercier, which I don't know if I like it yet or not. I just, I don't know. But I kind of mixed the two. No, like I feel like it's giving ashy. I don't know. Oof. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my setting spray, which is the Neutrogena Hydrating, and y'all, this stuff works so good. I love this. This is even better than my Mario Badesco. I'm not gonna lie. This is so good. But yes, y'all, I am about to, I think my makeup is done. I am about to do my hair and then get dressed. So I'll be back. Hey y'all so it is a few days later the last clip y'all saw i redecorated my bathroom and if you guys are interested in those products i will link those products down below so definitely check them out and support your girl if you guys are interested anyway y'all let's get to the let's get to why i've been gone for three days that's y'all know i've been gone for three days because your girl has been consistent but your girl has been out for the count for the last three days maybe four days y'all your girl has been sick i've been sick and i was out with so i had an ear infection and i also had strep though and i've never had an ear infection before that i know of maybe i did when i was little but i can't remember the pain but literally this was some of the worst pain in my life like nobody told me that ear infections literally feel like you're dying Tylenol, ibuprofen was not working. It it wasn't working. Like it would be like it would be like after four hours, it would just be excruciating pain again. Like it was just not working. I went to the hospital twice. Went to urgent care once in the last four days because it's been that bad. Like other night, the second night, I'm just crying, moaning, groaning. My husband, it's like 11, 11 o'clock. My husband's like, girl, I'm not going to bed until we take you to the hospital. So he like forced me to go to the hospital again. And of course she was like, yeah, you have an ear infection. She looked at my ear and she was like, she can't tell if my eardrum is bursted because it's so much swelling there. And also y'all, I literally have no hearing in my left ear. Like I have no hearing. So death in one ear. 
So she switched my antibiotics. I woke up the next day and I was spitting up blood. And I'm just like, what's going on? Maybe I have COVID or something now. So I go to urgent care and they do a COVID and a strip swab. And come to find out I have strep too. So what do you know? So the last visit, she finally gave me some ear drops. I'm like, why they didn't they give me ear drops? I don't know. But she finally prescribed me ear drops. And she prescribed me the same antibiotic that the second doctor visit gave me so now we're here i'm feeling a little bit better i'm not having to take tylenol every six hours but um i still can't hear my ear but yes y'all that's where i've been for the last three to four days in this vlog so moving on man babe i'm actually about to go to a basketball game and yeah, we got free tickets from the army, so we love us some free tickets. So we're about to go have a little date night and we're gonna have fun. And of course, I'm taking y'all with me, but I just wanted to let y'all know what was going on, where I've been, what's been going on. So send in your prayers for me. I pray I get my hair back because your girl's supposed to be seeing Usher next week, y'all. I ain't tell y'all. And I need all my eardrums to work. Like, I need to be able to hear every note, every word. I need to hear it all so i need this to get better i need to get better so pray for me y'all that my hearing comes back but for now we are about to go to this best wagon and yes y'all so i'm wearing this little cardigan which i have been waiting to wear this because i've probably been waiting to wear this since like last year and it's so cute isn't it so cute y'all i could even do the off the shoulder do the off the shoulder kind of cute what do you think about the off the shoulder, babe? It looks good. I just bought a bag in there. Where'd it go? I don't know about the off the shoulder. But yeah, so this little cardigan, I got it off Amazon, so I will link it down below. And then just some black pants from Fashion Nova. And then I'm wearing my Converse's that I showed you guys in another vlog. But yeah, I'm going to clean up this mess that I made in the bathroom, y'all. If y'all would have known, like what I went through today you would think that I didn't do my hair and I, that I didn't film a whole hair video you you would have thought you really would have thought I didn't film a whole hair video and not a hair video on the slick bun not a hair video on the slick bun y'all and I am really considering being a straight natural like every time I try to do my hair more and more it's convincing me I just need to wear my hair straight more often because it's just not y'all it's just it's not giving it's stressing me out every time I have to do my hair it's just not cooperating I even gave myself a little trim I'm like okay I'm gonna trim my hair and maybe my curls will be popping again but it's not that my curls aren't popping my curls are popping it's just that the shrinkage is the issue and I guess because I, like I said, I just cut my hair. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up and talk there. I just cut my hair and of course the shrinkage is going to be more. And I cut my hair in hopes of that my curls will pop more, that my hair will pop more. And it just gave me more shrinkage. So at this point, I'm just over it. And yes, y'all. But I'm going to finish clean up the bathroom and then we're about to head out. So we made it, we're at the game. So I think it's LSU and Georgia State playing. So it should be Come on, a cool game. I really am not into basketball like that, but free tickets, so we're here. Oh, pre-purchase only. Pre-purchase only? Yeah. Right now we're looking for parking, y'all. I'll pay him right now. Hey, it's, it's going good. I was wondering if I can park here. Okay. All right. Oh, so yes, y'all. And I got my lips refilled today. They look really good. I'm turning around. Turn around. Why he thought we was about to sneak in? Why didn't you? I don't know. I didn't have space. Dang, he was about to hunt us down. Was he really? Oh, I got a headache. Y'all, my ear. My 
hair infection is bothering me. But yes, y'all, so we find, try to find parking. I'm really hungry right now. I'm starving, so I'll see y'all once we get inside. All right, y'all, let me try to get y'all a good outfit of the day. Babe, show them my outfit. I'm gonna go record my seven and four Just So, shirt, cardigan, she is pants from Fashion Nova. Then I have my Converse in the morning. Then I have my Steve Madden purse. Tell me it's not, tell me it's not a little. Tell me it's not giving. It's giving, girl. It's giving. I know we are from. I see you whining and grinding up on the floor. Like go to a bar or something just because we're already here so as well i'm off tomorrow i do have a meeting at nine but other than that i do have a lot to do tomorrow but vacation is seven days so yeah that's what we got going on Then I work three days, off one day, work two days, so yeah. This is about all the fun that I'm about to have until we go on our vacation. <laughs> but y'all, not just said my head don't look fat, and I feel like it look fat. And I was telling him like that I could get this removed. He was phone. he was like, don't do it. Babe. You didn't lose your phone. How you got my phone? I don't have your phone, but you didn't lose it. Then where is it? It's right here. Oh. Where's the other one? Oh. See, he always do this like, oh, oh my god, I lost it. And then it'll be right there, like all the time. He always do that. That's not what be happening. That is what be happening. 
I thought you was gonna let me drive home. Baby, you be doing stuff for a reaction, yo. What? Now you know. Now I know what? You know. That's he said he was gonna let me drive home. Babe, we gotta figure out our staycation. We said we was gonna do a staycation for your birthday. I wanna stay in a nice one. A staycation for my birthday? Like the $400 hotel. Okay. What you think? I mean, you got it, you got it. So go ahead and, you know. Do I have it? You got it. Nurciana. I, I don't think I have it. Big, big Nurciana. I don't think I have it. No, but I, yeah, I'll yeah, do your taxes. I know you got it. I'm, so I'm home and I just realized I don't have makeup wipes. So we about to try to use this vitamin E oil. So hopefully my face don't start breaking out because for some reason it it's kind of been breaking out a little bit. But it is because my time of month is about. <laughs> It is because my time of month is about to come back, come on. And so I know that's why, but y'all, how am I supposed to get this makeup off? I don't want to sleep in it. I was really considering like, let me just sleep in it, change my pillowcases tomorrow. But no, we're not, we're not doing that. So, so I just put on a kind of ball and. Huh? Back. Back what? Back. What do I look like? Do I look like a back scratcher? Okay, but y'all, this is my first day of my lip, needleless lip. So they're a little swollen today. So if y'all notice that, just just disregard that because they're gonna go down. Like it's only day one. Like honestly, for day one, they don't look that bad for day one. They actually look pretty good. And then of course I put the lip liner so it's making it look bigger than it is. I really hope this don't break my skin out, but I guess it's better than just going to bed. With makeup on. But yes, y'all, so I have a meeting. A meeting in the morning. And then other than that, I just gotta get stuff to prepare for my trip. Mm -hmm. 